Hey guys, welcome to another episode on how to use Ari, auto repair software. My name is Cameron, and here's what I have in store for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the time tracking feature in the Ari Auto Repair app. Log into the app, and first, you need to make sure you have already completed your company profile setup. If not, please check the description. There you will find a link with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Ari Auto Repair company profile. Now, let's get into the time tracking section. The time tracking Ari feature lets you monitor and label the activity of multiple employees. Additionally, you can add notes when clocking out workers and create timesheets with a backdate. Before using it, you have to add your employees from the profile setup menu and your labor items from the inventory menu. RE time tracking consists of two panels, time clocks and time logs. We will look through each of those separately. Time clocks let you stop and start different clocks for your staff. You can clock in and clock out mechanics, technicians, engineers, or other employees. So, let's click here and clock in an employee. I will click OK, and then I will be redirected to choose the activity that this employee is going to perform. Here, you can select the activities that were created under the service section in your inventory. You can also add custom activity labels to time clocks, such as general, maintenance, diagnostic, etc. So, let's click on replace brake pads. As you can see, now the clock is ticking. And here, it shows you the task that this employee is performing. Then, you also have the option to clock in multiple employees. Upon clocking out a person, you can add a note about the process or outcome of their work. After the task is ready, you can close the time clock and see the labor times added to your invoice. In the Time Logs panel, you will see an overview of all past time clocks. Click the plus button to add a new time log. Then you have to select the employee's name, activity type, and start and end time. If you don't choose an employee or activity label for your time log, it will be displayed as empty or undefined. You can add that later if you need to. Then click on Save Timesheet, and this will show up in the time logs. To delete a time log, just click on it, and then click here on the trash icon and then click OK. With Ari, you can decide which users can access the time logs feature. So, if you go to Profile, and then go to User Roles, you can select the desired user, click on Edit, and then choose what access you can give regarding time logs. Another great way of using time tracking is by exporting the timesheets data for your employees. You can do that by going into the Reports section of the Ari Auto Repair app, then click on Employees and Salaries. Then, you go to Time Tracking, and click on Export Data. And here, you have your timesheet. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can access all RE features by going pro. You can do this in RE settings. See you on the next one.